Muse news. Well, the gloves are now officially off. For the first time, I am under few restrictions on what I can say. I am alive. I'm still standing and things are starting to look up. This is a message to viewers, people who want to help or people who understand what's happening from behind the scenes. It is time for change. It is time for reform. It is a time for me to listen to you and it is a time for action. What started as an internet craze is turning into a revolution. Many of you need my help and by helping me, I can help you and together we can make a better future for all of us. It's an announcement we will be giving a £1,000 prize for the best mewing outcome and we want to create a community for change. There is also news that my appeal will be occurring on the 10th to 12th of June in the High Court in the courts in the very pretty courts in central London. Anyone can attend. Stop the press. The court date has been delayed. It's very unfortunate for me and we will update you as soon as we get confirmed dates for the High Court appeal. Then also we're going to be running an event in London on September the 6th the day before my father's 97th birthday. Meet him, meet me, meet some other guest lecturers on mewing, tips and hints, how to improve, what other methods and techniques can be used to advance your mewing journey. See us there. It's been over a year since we released the mewing app. Now I've had some distractions, but we need to improve this. We need to better understand the problem and the limitations people are getting. I want to engage in Reddit and Discord, I've not really done this before, to get some feedback. I don't have all the answers. Now we need to build a community and we've got some community ideas we're gonna be putting out. But I specifically want to find a few ambassadors within this community who I can work with. We need answers, we need to improve the app, but also we need general improvement in our knowledge base. We are not gonna get real change in this area of healthcare unless we do something, unless we take action. The profession is changing. There's a small percentage, I see it, I see it in the podcasts um, and a lot of lectures going on. I mean, particularly airway orthodontics, it's a good step. But again, this is against much resistance as my case and my example shows. So we've got baby steps in the right direction, but we must push for proper reform. Now, my global focus of my mission has to be on the cause of the problem, understanding why teeth are becoming crooked and faces aren't growing properly. But for many, this is going to be a little late and we need to improve mewing and identify other non-invasive exercises. And this is clearly important, but again, for those who are most affected, this is also not going to be enough. So we're going to look at various methods of artificial assistance, whether this be medical or dental interventions, such as surgery or expansion, or work on outside of these areas. So there is a plethora of treatments out there. Some are complex, some are expensive, and they are not without risks and side effects. Few are perfect. Many, by definition, are unregulated, and the results seem to be a bit hit and miss. And of course, there are a lot of people who are still left with problems after all of these treatments. So we've got to identify and promote some of these treatment approaches and understand which various interventions are helping people and which can be beneficial in general. So it's vital that we work with the medical profession. We need the spotlight of modern medical research to focus on this issue. Ultimately, there is no other way. It is hard enough as it is. To this point, the classical response from the profession to us, the rebels, has always been, show me the evidence. But we cannot be expected to achieve this, us, the rebels. We don't have the resources to do this. And there are salaried research teams already in existence. So we need to be both persuasive as well as presenting a sound case for why we need the help. And through this, we can provide the answers that everyone so desperately needs. Now, it is vitally important that we do the right thing. We must stick by the letter of the scientific process, but we also need to push to gain engagement. And we do this by telling the truth, telling how things are, warts and all. We are not calling for more research to be done, but to view the existing research from certain new points of view, the alternative point of view, our point of view, which has simply been ignored and asking for these arguments to be tested and to be given official 
critical appraisal that has never happened. Now, within the established scientific arena, our message is simple. We must start with the cause and work up. It is not acceptable to be treating such a large percentage of the general population without an understanding of what causes the problem or how it happens. With the primary goal being prevention, because this goal cannot be criticized. But by understanding the cause and how this happens, the pathological process, we can help a wider and wider range of people. Mewing is the basics, but for many of you, you're going to need more help. And the fastest and most effective way is for you to help me to help you. Quite a few mewers have asked me to look into thumb pulling. The whole area interests me. It fits with craniosacral therapy. It fits with cranial osteopathy. And I want to interview some practitioners some patients and some people who feel and can demonstrate they've got good outcomes. I can give my opinion and I can even find and critique the opinion of others. And I will do this, but I don't really know unless we've got data, quality records from people doing this, which is clearly going to be the next step in this whole process. Without data, we're blind and we need to see. It will be great when we finally get the salaried research teams to look at this, but quite frankly, this is unlikely to happen anytime soon. We're gonna have to start this process ourselves. Now, I'm on a mission for answers. I want the truth, the whole truth and no dogma. So please join me on this channel for this quest of mine. I don't know everything, but I want to. I don't know where this will go, but I have some ideas. I will start by shining whatever light I have on this and sharing it with you. I'm learning a completely new skill set. You know, I was an orthodontist or dentist. Now I'm having to create a team and an organizational structure which is working and which suits us. I'm not used to all of this online working stuff. I'm normally used to having people there with me. And Clearly, I'm also recovering from having a really good kicking. So we're gonna need to recruit volunteers to help us gain this change. And I need you to help me explain what is going on to the world. We're going to need animation people who understand and can visualize craniofacial dystrophy, who can help me to explain the details. A clear explanation combined with good imagery will help everyone understand what is wrong, how we can correct this, and what treatments can help. Now, I want to start an open source project. We need answers, and this is the only way. Well, the only way I know is to use the scientific process. I'm not magic. I don't have all the answers. I'm just a little ahead of some others. I'm, I'm third generation in this. I was born with this knowledge and consequently I've pushed the narrative and of course I've paid the price, professionally the ultimate price. I'm going to come back to this project soon, as soon as we've got organized a core group. So this is where we're looking for volunteers. Now, this has clearly been a massive life change for me. I'm no longer in the clinic during the daytime. I'm a stay at home daddy but you cannot stop the truth. You can take away my livelihood. You can bankrupt me, but I want the truth. And now I can spend all of my free time trying to get it. That is between taking the kids to school and pick up time. So I'm gonna need some help. First, we're going to need management and human resources. Thank you to the people who have already responded to our requests. We are connecting with you. This is in process. And you will be the key people to keeping all of this together, particularly when I can't. We will need social media assistance, both professionals and informed lay public. I've been really impressed with the knowledge base of many lay people who have no other medical training. And this will range from people to be moderators to people reposting our output. Then we're going to need some technical assistance, in particular 3D animation, but also video editing in general, and also selecting clips from our current videos. Then AI skills to create customized imagery to help explain what is happening 
to explain our message, creating memes and, of course, edu educational infographics. Now, then we need fundraising, we need help with events, we need researchers for our videos, both to get content and to come up with ideas. And then we're going to need outreach. So this is searching for suitable podcasters who can interview me and clearly persuading them to do so. Now, as I mentioned, my father will be offering a thousand pounds to the person who can demonstrate the best changes from mewing. So we want to be see people's results and reward them or well one of them and of course then learn from them. Now testimonials are important especially for demonstrating to the world that this change is possible and not just the physical change but also health gain such as jaw joint problems and sleep apnea. So we will come on to those in time. So this is one of the first scientific steps in gaining a better understanding of how to gain good change and for us to learn from you. Finally, we are looking for someone to stay at the castle with my father, John New, Professor John New, to act as his PA and carer. So that's a special task. Now, there will be some pay and of course there'll be free accommodation, but this person has got to have UK residence and UK work permit. Now, please bear with me. As I was going to go on to discuss, this period has been really hard on me and I have regular periods when I struggle to cope with everything that has happened. It was bound to happen and things are getting better by the day, but I need capable people who can carry on during these periods when I cannot cope. If I'm asking you to help me, I guess I need to share a little about me with you. Some of you might have seen the documentary. Unfortunately, we had to suppress it. It featured my lawyer making comments that would only have been appropriate if the case had finished, as was intended in two or three weeks in November 2022, but it, as we expected. But since we are appealing, the case is still not finished. It's a great shame. Now, we were not expecting to lose the case against me. So in many ways, we feel this was a travesty. And of course, it's led to me being suspended. I've gone bankrupt. And of course, this has really, really been hard on me. I mean, much harder than most people would you know, imagine. So the depression I've been suffering from has actually fascinated me because I have this quasi-religious quest for the truth and this mission that I'm on, which has left an entire mental landscape completely unaffected because I'm still on this mission. However, there is an another entire landscape that has literally crumbled. Physiology is physiology. Humans work in a certain way on the effects on me have been clear and they have been brutal. Now, interestingly, it was effects, it was the impacts on my wife and my eldest daughter who got these really bad headaches that has been my biggest priority. Now, family has to take priority. Problems at home have to be top of the list. So I had to close my business down over the Christmas period. So that was about four months ago. Initially, I had a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff needed sorting out. We had the financial records and all the patient records that needed storing. And then I had literally tons and tons of clutter. Now, having got that done, then reality started to bite. And in these periods, I've, I get these bursts of energy followed by periods of fear and inaction. I mean, you know, I, I literally can't do anything. I can hide in the corner of a room sometimes. It's, it's, it's really quite interesting. And it can be really hard to keep going. It's one of, and one of the hardest things is knowing that I was right, or believing myself that I was right. Um, I promised myself totally, total honesty throughout the trial and feel that everything I said was factually correct on today's scientific evidence base. Now, knowing that I spoke the truth and still lost the case is depressing in itself. And now it's been eight years since the first referral of in this case, and this has dominated my life for so long. And it's interesting to understand how litigation can be used to destroy people, how the big corporation can destroy the everyday person. I'm not the first. 
Um, but luckily, I had the resources to fund a good defence. And although we didn't win, we've placed ourselves nicely for the appeal. And I've had to literally borrow, beg and crowdfund to pay for this appeal. Thank you to everyone who contributed. It really has meant a lot. But now I live in rented accommodation owned by the church I irregularly attend. My wife has gone out to work just so that we can come close to making ends meet. And now, on top of this, I'm going to be committing all the income from the Mewing app and future donations to raising awareness of the problem and this mission that we're talking about now. Now, I've got loads of ideas and I've had some I have some idea of where this movement trend is likely to go and I've been thinking about it for a while. But without you, we can't make this happen. Movements are movements of people and you are the people. You can help yourself while you're helping us with the Mewing app. It, it, there's good stuff in it. I've put my knowledge and ideas in there. Then you can donate to us directly, as many people already have done, as we've raised over £20,000. And that's great, so go to the donate, go fund me underneath. And then of course you can volunteer, and that's really the core message of this Muse News, is that we need people to volunteer because we need to create this movement for change. With you, with me, we can work together and we can gain the change that we all so badly need. Thank you very much.